Hey guys, Dr. Sud Koshik here at Clear Choice LASIK Cleveland Eye Clinic. I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the amazing imaging software that we have here and we use on a day-to-day -day basis for our patients to give them the best outcomes possible. And one of that is the Heidelberg Anterion. And this machine is fantastic. It's an OCT that takes these wonderful images of the anterior segment, the portion of the eye from the cornea, the clear windshield of the eye, going all the way back to the back surface of that natural crystalline lens in the eye. And in here, I actually have a picture of my own eyes and in this image, you can actually see the ICL that's in my eye and clearly see how much space there is between that ICL and then my natural crystalline lens. So it's just wonderful technology that provides these great resolution images. And then we use them for our patients to basically help improve the management of any kind of condition they have or help improve the management of a surgery that they have upcoming. So this is my right eye using this Heidelberg anterior imaging, anterior segment OCT. And you can see my cornea all the way down to the back surface of my crystalline lens. And then also if you notice here is where my ICL is located. Um, using a lot of the uh, tools that this software has, you can measure the distance between the ICL and the crystalline lens. You can also do things like measure the thickness of the cornea, measure the angle here, um, and then go even angle to angle and other kind of useful um, imaging modalities uh, to help determine best placement of that ICL. So looking at this image, we do have a standard reference that we do like our ICLs to sit roughly between 250 microns to 750 microns above the crystalline lens. And, and looking at the image for my eyes, mine does sit in between that, that safe range or that safe space. So it's really nice to be able to take these high resolution images, get that measurement and feel comfortable and confident in the placement of that ICL for each patient. If we ever have a scenario in which the ICL feels or looks like it's too shallow of a location or there's too much space between the crystalline lens and the ICL, then that gives us the information we need to talk to the patient about next steps, whether we need to actually exchange that ICL for a different size and, and talk to them about the risks and benefits of that approach.